Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're talking about the All-Star Game prize picks over under. So we're gonna be looking at a lot of players here. I'm gonna give you five picks in this video. And this one's actually coming out probably before the three-point contest even starts and the dunk contest. So check out my last video for my picks on the three-point and dunk contest. It'll be linked in the description, also at the end of this video to watch after this one. But for this one, we're talking about the All-Star Game. So kind of interesting this year, LeBron and Giannis haven't picked their teams yet. So we don't know who's on what team, which is a big factor. So we're going in kind of a little blind with some of these picks, but that could actually get you some more value here. And also, we don't know if Giannis is going to play at all, but I mean, he should play some it, it, the indications are but we don't know how many minutes he's going to play because of that wrist injury that he suffered in the Bucks last game so with all that said there's only eight players here all are starters that we can choose props on and yes Lori Markkinen is a starter filling in for Zion Williamson so this is what we have these eight players to look at you notice Giannis isn't one of them the first one I'm looking at here is Luca at 25.5 points. Seems pretty high uh, considering if we come over to Stat Moves, Muse, Moves, and look at Luca in the All Star game by year, most points he's ever scored is eight. So maybe Luca's just not an All Star game type player. He took seven shots, is the most. Other games he took six and six shots. Maybe he just doesn't really want to go all out for the All-Star game. I don't know what it is, but 26 he would have to get to cover this. So I kind of like the under. I mean, it could be a different Luka. I'm pretty positive that he started last year, maybe even the year before that in the All-Star game. So, And he played 32, 25 minutes, so it's not like he wasn't out there playing. 26 seems like a big jump. So on the points, I would actually go less for Luka on this. I mean, even if he gets above 20 that would be kind of a shock to some people and then Embiid is really high here too at 27 but Embiid he is kind of a ball hog honestly it seems like in some of these all-star games especially you could see he was really going for MVP 36 last year 22 the year before that so Embiid he's just so big that people can't really stop him you're not going to get too physical and he's just going to get a lot of easy shots probably i'm a little hesitant to take the under on mb there and Giannis is likely to take mb first with the starters so he could be on team Giannis, which would result in him scoring more points and we're gonna get our unders out of the way here i actually have three unders for you guys two overs the other under is going to be on rebounds here so let's go over to rebounds and look at Laurie Markkinen, six and a half rebounds. So he needs seven rebounds in the All-Star game. I know he's starting. Doesn't mean he's going to play a ton of minutes. I expect him to play less than 25 minutes. And in the actual NBA, he's only averaging just over eight rebounds per game. But he's playing, you know, 30 plus minutes per game. And not going to be playing with guys like Embiid, Jokic, LeBron, Tatum. So they could hog a lot of rebounds. And for Lori, I think I like less here. He could get, you know, four or five, but I don't see him getting seven here. Seems like a high number. And then for our last under, coming over to the assist, Jokic at eight and a half assists. So he needs nine. I guess they think that Jokic is, likes to distribute, especially in the All-Star game here. Could be true, but nine assists seems high to me. If we come back over here. We can see in the last All-Star game, he got eight assists. The one before that, five. Before that, one. Before that, zero. So I guess they're just going off last season where he got eight. And he only played 21 minutes. If Michael Malone is the coach, you know, he could be limiting his minutes to around 20 to 25. And that's a lot of assists to get in that many minutes. Jokic can definitely do it. But I would think that he is not going to be able to get nine assists in this game. His points prop is really low, so I think they were kind of anticipating he's not going to play that much. It's only at 13 and a half, which is low. We could maybe take the over on that, but that's not going to be 
one of my picks here for my overs actually we're gonna go to three pointers on both the overs lebron two and a half three pointers so he needs three seems fairly low lebron if we come look at his all-star game history he hasn't made a bunch of threes you can see here two zero two one four three so hasn't done it since 2018 but last also game he took 11 threes this one you can't count because he played 13 minutes he was injured somehow he played only 19 in this one but took 10 threes eight threes so he just hasn't really been knocking down the threes but he's taking a ton so i could definitely see him getting three threes in this game probably going to be going for the all-star as well the mvp i guess I, I should have said there and then for the other one Kyrie had just two flat threes made so that should be definitely doable taking the over on that Kyrie, i mean likes to shoot a lot of threes and we can see here last year he hit two before that was one for four before that was one for five before that six for eight and then hit two three three so He's been hitting a lot of threes and just, I mean, these two games here, he just shot a terrible percentage, but he's going to get up probably six, at least threes in this game. And he could definitely hit two and three is also a definite possibility, probably going to be playing with LeBron. I would, I would guess that he would select him. These are going to be my five picks. We got the unders on Luka points, under on Markkanen rebounds and under on Jokic assists with two overs coming on threes for LeBron and Kyrie. So I like these picks the best for my five. The other ones that I talked about, you know, Jokic over on points and then maybe Embiid under on his points could be my consolation picks here. But I like these five the most. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, if you didn't watch the dunk contest, three point contest video, check that one out. It'll be linked right here on this card. So check that one out, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.